Oh, All right, Tide Hunter. The very first prediction made. Hey, you get lots of points for that one. All right, Virtus Pro, what are they going to pick as their mid laner here? Without a Shaker. It's uh, going to take a while for him to really get going in this lane. Meanwhile, the mid. Shaker. Is I was just going to say, the Shaker's going to pull the wave here from behind the tower, so they can just reset the creep equilibrium. Oh, oh the creeps. Is it going to bounce? Oh. Ah. It's level. a regen. Yeah, he's blocked off from it. He's like, he's going for the TP out. No fear. He's going to survive. <laughs> There's a regen bot, so Roger doesn't care. He's like, okay, well, just get my mana. Well, I was going to say, meanwhile, Troll's been left on his own and is suffering really badly. But actually, Solo's come up here as well. So, uh, I say Solo's come up here. He, yeah, he's going to deny himself. 100% likelihood to deny himself. He's like, stop using axes. Let them hit me. I want to die. Please. <laughs> Oracle, is that you? <laughs> and the Undying as well as the other one. I love both those voice lines. What's the, what's the undying one? Don't know. All right, all right, you do that. I'll do uh, I'll do actual casting things. Oh, I like, yeah. Uh, meanwhile, Non Grata gets a nice ankle smash onto two, but Roger's coming in with the damage and with the sword buckle as well. They don't really care about that right click damage because they'll just do it with spells. Pasha and Roger draw first blood in this bottom lane. Now the Pangolier is going to have the gold for the Javelin if he wants it as well, so... Lucky yes, shot? It did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Goddamn. <laughs> Pango is very happy right now, then. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it, was, it was kind of a buff. Very interesting. Anyway, let's refocus, man. Let's get back into this game. Currently in the mid lane, uh, TA is getting completely run over. It's, it's, it's not looking good for Kuman right now. Currently sitting 15 and 9. And now Rogers wrapping around the back. Kuman got two wrapped into the lane dynamics and now finds himself in a spot of bother. Has got a refraction. Let's pop it out at the last minute here, but it's probably going to be a sad and slow demise for Kuman. Let's see that pretty fast. Ooh. Rogers not going to land here. And there's a plasma field in three seconds, but yeah. A juicy shrine, and uh, Kuman is gonna get out of the woods unscathed. Well, very injured, but otherwise alive. You take what you can get, eh? Uh, but Pasha in the bottom lane, he's getting busy onto this tight hunt here, and with the stun coming in from Pasha, from Roger, Pasha is able to finish off the kill. What? If you look at the Pango's gems, Okay, well, well, we'll get back to that in a minute as Ramses is taking a fair amount of rats here, but with Solo and Roger coming in, the turnaround's coming in quickly, Lil's in some trouble, he's dropping low, he pops a one, now he's got nothing, they're eating through the trees, trying to get themselves away, but Silent wants to go through first, and Lil will take a fall. I thought Rog uh, Ramses can just play as aggressive as, as, uh, aggressive as he wants up in this top lane, and uh, he knows that Solo's behind him, just like constantly made beefing him up with the heals, with the shields. Yeah, killing himself. Is that lore friendly? Mm. It's not very user friendly though, is it? If anything, it's it's, it's not really. Like it, if if we're trying to make Dota like a realistic or well, not a realistic game, but you know, <laughs> user friendly game. It's a simple game, yeah. <laughs> no, not simple either. I don't know the word I'm looking for, but I don't think heroes should be trying to suicide themselves. I mean, denying maybe. I mean, also, it's just gonna get run down, and Kuman's just like, I need to wait. Oh, he doesn't wait long enough though. The trap damage was gonna be enough. That's what it is. You mean the? That's the weirdest thing I've seen. Anyway, no fear. Ease gets swashbuckled up. The stun does come bouncing back to Pasha though. That means there's not going to be any shield crash to come in. Lil going on to. Oh no! The swashbuckle comes through and kills. No fear. Meanwhile, the bottom lane, non Grada escapes through the trees. Back to top. Roger on the run here. Lil gonna go for. The heal up, meanwhile Silent being chased down, he goes for the TP, but instantly cancelled out by Roger, he's still got the Fisher, and Silent's gonna get run down, meanwhile, Non Grada, he's gonna take a fall in the bottom lane as well, kills across the map for Virtus Pro right now. That's so bad for Silent that he doesn't have TP again now, he's uh, gonna have to do the dreaded walk of shame again, we saw it last game from the Razor a few times, and fortunately the Jara's gonna have to do it as well, he'll probably just go to his bottom half of the map now though, and just play around these Ancients and the, uh, the jungle. Triangle. Is under attack. Holy triad of the jungle. Times this game. Uh, I think it's something like that, yeah. I don't think he's actually died to like a non-denial. Roger! Roger! They're gonna get the first kill on the side of Vunstrike and it is... Do you know what I mean? Their, their lanes have just gone so... I know they're just very good players. But... Yeah, I, this, this is usually the problem with Rubik, isn't it? Um, Lil... Talking of Rubik... Gets, uh... Okay. TA, dude. She's... Badly. <laughs> really, really badly. 
it's so great, isn't it? It's, it, it, it's not it's not all good in Cumin Land, no. Oh, he's just melded and missed up the hill as well against the Razor. Oh. That's so sad. <laughs> that really is salt on the rune right now. She uses the rolling thunder top. Yeah, going off the tide into here. Tide, well, he's just going to ravage and try and turn it around here. But oh, now Sal actually comes in as well. A nice turnaround for Windstrike. We went under a tier two tower at this point. Do you remember uh, last game we talked about them really wanting to put emphasis on taking the bot tier one to open up the Drow's jungle? It's, yeah. it's the same thing again this game. Like they're taking the bot tier one and just look at them just marauding through. Like trying to take over this ancient camp. Exactly, Drow. She's not the point in the game. Oh, a kill onto no one in the middle lane. Human manning up with the traps. That was completely seven. Goodness. It's pretty crazy. Goodness. It would actually be the most annoying thing if you could do it every 30 seconds. Uh, I'm glad that game and saw that one. Roger in the top lane once again. Kuman. Sure, you sure about that? Sure. <laughs> As a person that does not care about law or any kind of like. That's not even law, that's just no, nonsense. No. Anyway, Lil with the lift in the top lane, but it's only going to delay the inevitable as he's eating through the trees here, trying to find himself a bit of escape. Trying to jump through, but unfortunately, a stylish play. It doesn't work. Lil. Sports don't really deal with that uh, wave clear job that well. DP going for an adventure here, they're smoked up, but they will run into two heroes, but the Fisher comes out, and now the Echo Slam onto two, but Drow's on the high ground, trying to turn this one around. Lil's actually going to get up and escape this on one, the they've got them both held still, look up, doing tons of work, Pasha, he gets the wrong thunder off, but he dies immediately, Solo trying to run himself away, he's got that ultimate, going to pop it off nice and early to just purge off the slow, but Ramses, he's taking some hits, a nice Fisher through, she's just going to slow them down, there is a Ravage, he's going to throw it out, Patrol, he gets the ultimate off just before, and isn't going to be enough to maybe turn this one around, if Batman's trying to heal him up, but it is useless. Ramses goes down, and that is going to be win strike for safety. Human. Is, oh, he was sitting in meld waiting for someone to appear with the haste rune solo zone. Uh oh. <laughs> he will coming in with a swashbuckle as well. That's a very quick pick off. But this deals 112 damage. But all five of Windstrike are ready to fight right now. They want to go for this as the Ato is coming into the Pangalea, holding him steady. They've got the lift. The shield comes out, but it's just a little bit too late. Nicely done by Windstrike. They predicted the shield was going to be to them that they haven't given away that many kills to Windstrike, considering yeah. this is supposed to be the part of the game where Windstrike is strongest. Yeah, TA definitely hits this peak with her... Uh, oh, oh. I thought they would. Well, that, uh, this is going to be the bone of contention for the next few minutes. Somebody needs to take this Roshan. This is pretty much the huge deciding point in who's going to be leading the game for the next while. As no one just comes charging in, the cast bouncing through, silence down onto the drow onto the witch doctor as well. Drow trying to returning here as a Fisher comes through onto Lil, keeping a distance. Kuman's in really deep here. He's got the BKB if he wants it, but he is disarmed. So doesn't want to throw it out just yet. Salad doing the damage onto the high ground. Ramsey's forced to use that ultimate early, but he is able to run down Nograda here with the Rolling Thunder to back him up. Kuman coming into the back line, so they're just trying to bring down Ramsey, but Ramsey actually brings out no fear. The damage is not enough from Kuman. He's not finding any pickups in this fight, and that's just going to be two heroes dead from Windstrike. They've had to buy back on the Tide Hunter, of course, has that Ravage. As they're fighting off on the back. Pasha, yeah, he was uh, he was ran round a little bit, but he's going to buy back as well. They know they can't give away Roshan just yet. I'm glad I think of staying in the pit, but realizing that's not really an option. Still an echo up from Roger Lil leading the charge, but VP, they're ready for it. They know this man. They know him inside out. They know exactly what he's going to do. And no one, he's running through the tree, coming around to the back lines. BKB pop with the echo slam on top of it as well. It's very good from Roger. And they're following up with the damage as well. Kuma just trying to fight it up. They will bring down Lil. And now Kuma just has to run himself away. He's got no damage left. Even with the double damage, he's not doing enough. The Ravage comes through on the back. Kuma trying to turn this one around for Ramsey. He gets waking up and he's just chasing them down. Kuma held still. Drowned trying to do something, anything. Thing to turn this fight around, but it is not looking good right now for Windstrike. They've lost three. They're gonna lose more as they come up onto the high ground, chasing down the Drow Ranger. Drow forced up. TP out. Is it gonna happen? It might actually. Drow gets herself out. Unbelievably. And that was huge. Was able to like run in, knowing that the Earthshake was gonna follow up with him there and just run at the wall. Pops a BKB, pops a static link onto Kuman. Kuman's fight is over. He can't do anything. He's got a double damage room. He's still not hitting hard enough. They're trying to go onto Ramsey's here. Just taking away this Aegis would be nice, but he actually gets the interrupt onto No Fear. Or maybe No Fear counts it to run away. I'm not too sure. Meanwhile, Lil does go down. That's a wrap around. No one just catching them on the sidelines. Looking towards Mongrata as well. He's not got the static link, so Mongrata does get forced up by the high ground. Well, 43 now. Abaddon has a buckler. The Vlad's on the pango. 
Let's not forget, throughout it all, we still have this Ravage. I mean, there's no blink, it's, it's a Force Ravage. But if non Grabber can find that initiation, they do have a long way to get their damage off on oh, no. Lil. Good Bicer throws down the... What? Is he? I think he was ensnared there. I'm not sure. Oh, ensnared. Okay, right. It looked like he was... Okay. TP's coming in, wind strike, they're smoked up, they're looking for some action, they're gonna see solo. I mean, it's a pickoff, it's maybe not the pickoff, but with Ramsey's coming in as well, and Non Grabber's in a really weird place right now. They will be able to finish off solo, but he just buys back straight into this one. It's a death ward doing a fair amount to push Ramsey's and no one back. Human trying to fight off on the front lines here, but he's getting static linked, his damage is disappearing quickly. He needs to get himself out. And there's nobody, nobody here to help him. There's drought. Okay, there comes a the ravage. They'll be able to bring down Ramsey. He's got no ages. It just ran out, and now they can look towards no one as well. Oh, they have the damage to run him through though as non Grata is just gonna get blown up but Silent he's hitting in from the sidelines and he's doing a lot and Kuman trying to come in he's still got the damage taken off him though so he's just not doing enough as it stands it's about to run off Silent Link is now gone the Fisher holds back two no one connects onto non Grata here trying to bring down the Tide Hunter Tide onto the high ground nice four star pop as they rock around the back and kill off Roger no one realizing this fire's over is trying to get himself out they try and do the damage but it's nowhere near enough to bring down the Razor Pasha he can swap back off into the high ground and it looks like Windstrike will take the victory it's being attempted right now. I think they need to go and fight this. The observer board on the top side of the Roshan pit sees anything it's coming so from above. shot as well. It'd be great for non to grab that. It's just running into the troll wall right now. Doesn't need to be careful as he's kind of forced off himself up into the high ground. That's not going to work. Though. They're going to try and use a death wall, but non -Grata, he's forced to use that ravage, and he's just going to get run down all the same as the BKB from the razor is used. Meanwhile, Pasha, he's just trying to control up the two carries, and now they get the echo sound. There's a two cores held still. Swap buckle comes through them with the Fisher as well. Drought trying to go one way, TA trying to go the other, but silence. Bought down, Kuman still has a bit of health left to work with, and the cask. cask is doing a great job at holding them back. Windstrike, they're gonna get away with the life of Kuman. Riley, have I spoken too soon? Roger. He was trying to hold on to the Ravage for as long as he could. Yeah. To try and force out BKBs, but uh. Kaiti not are there available, unfortunately, when you uh, don't get the four staff off. Lil says, uh, no, you can't come into our base. <laughs> we'll close the door. Which has the last two bash. The disarm the bash as well. Tempire assassin in some trouble as running thunder comes through. They're gonna be able to pick off Kuman. Kuman has the buyback. Lil just trying to do his best here as he places the wall to block off Pasha, I think. <laughs> They're picking this one creep, the one creep that's alive on their high ground. And they kill it, but unfortunately it's just a little bit too late as uh, they're in onto the racks now. Virtus Pro looking to clean up some buildings. They've got the buyback on the TA, but the bash onto Lil. Rubik, he's going to get finished off under the tier 3 tower. It always ha forget how ridiculous no buyback can go. One Rubik. Again. TA buys back. They can't do this without the Ravage though, and it's still 40 seconds. I mean, VP are going to take the base in that time. Mongrel is trying to come forwards here. They've got the cheese on the Razor, they've got the Aegis on the Troll. It's looking like an impossible fight right now as the BKB pop. No one, he's trying to take the damage off to Kuman here. Kuman, the four stuff, not enough to break that static link. Kuman is going to be a non factor for a long, long time now. And Ramses can just get to work on these barracks. Gun for the range racks now. Only one set left remaining. Where's this Ravage? It's here in 9 seconds. They don't have BKB on no one, but they do have the cheese. If they want to go for this kill, they have to get him immediately as the Echo Slam comes in. Onto two. Templar Assassin in some trouble. Kuma, she just fought back and she gets disarmed. No fear's going to get picked off on the back lines by Ramses with that BKB. The wall comes in. Are they able to get out? Yes, they are. Kuma actually running forwards. He's got the Fisher for himself here. Kuma coming forwards. Uh, just trying to control up the air shake on the background, but Kuma, he's looking for bigger and better things, but unfortunately, bigger and better things is running away. He's going to TP himself out. Do they have any interrupt for it? They don't. They do have a lot of damage it was close but not enough here on one of the cores and no one roger solo they're all smoked up here ready to go i want to jump in uh shaker's ready he's looking for it and in comes pasha rolling forwards lil four stuffed out of the action but the tower is now being hit ramsey's getting the damage on down to about 50 percent hp the tower is crumbling, the tower is demolished. They're onto the racks now as well. They need to do something about this. Nongrada's coming forward, but he's just taking up so much damage. He has the rabbit. He's gonna have to throw it out here. The BKB is already out 
from the Razor and the ultimate as well. Strong Warlord just running forwards, woken up by the bad. In comes Jack Simon, it's BKB off from TA. She's got double damage, but she's also been disarmed for half the majority of it. And now Ramsey's, well, he's a little bit stuck here. He has got the ultimate, but he's got the Aegis, so he's gonna wait for that to go down first. Meanwhile, the final barracks are being taken. It's gonna probably be a Mega Creeps defense game if they can even hold out after this. As Ramsey's comes running forward, he's got the BKB, he's got the ultimate as well. He just chops up Silent, chops up Kuman as well, and then GG being called Virtus Pro will take this game. It was a long one, 44 minutes in, but they will defeat their former captain. Lil goes down, Virtus Pro are victorious. That was, uh, that was well played by V.